Yes. Right. Uh, okay. The next speaker is Osamu Sawada. The title of uh, speech is the Japanese negative pride <laughs> and eventually approach. <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, thank you. Uh, okay. So in this talk, I will talk about the Japanese uh, negative party item, uh, Shikotsu, which can be interpreted as even. Uh, and I will think about this from the perspective of event semantics. Okay. So the Japanese classifier, Tsu, is actually a classifier for counting separate um, inanimate entities like uh, cookies or Chocolate, chocolate, or something. And when combined with a uh, numeral hito, one, and a scalar particle more, which means even, then it can function as a negative priority minimizer, like uh, as in showing one. So, sura ni wa kumon ga hitotsu mo nai. Okay. There's not a single cloud in the sky. Okay. But hitotsu uh, can actually can be used as a scalar particle, like even. And in that case, Shitotsu itself is interpreted like even. So let's take a look at two. So Taro wa aisatsu hitotsu shinai. Okay. This means Taro doesn't even say hello. Okay. And here, clearly, Shitotsu is kind of, it mean, mean, means greeting. And it's not a kind of same uh, object that can be counted by Tsu, because Tsu is, always has to you know, count the concrete objects like cookies. But here, uh, uh, I said it's not a kind of uh, thing. Okay. And this type of hitotsu is um, negative priority item because uh, it's supposed to counterpart to the sentence is informed. So that or I said hitotsu sounds strange. Uh, so in this talk, I will think to uh, compare this um, hitotsu as a scalar particle hitotsu and other kinds of scalar particles such as cyan even and try to show that uh, um, scalar particle hitotsu has a special kind of meaning, which is sensitive to event. event. So first of all, I will uh, claim that the scalar particle hitotsu imposes a semantic restriction that the uh, noun hitotsu attaches to must be non-specific, and um, it has to, it is uh, interpreted as a theme of an event. And I, I will uh, claim that the phenomenon of the, this scalar particle hitotsu can be considered as a kind of a pseudo incorporation in the sense of Carlson and Garok. And um, the big picture is that unlike the ordinary scalar particle, like uh, even or psi and more, it belongs to a new type of e evil that is sensitive to events. Okay. So first of all, let's consider some relevant literature. So Nakanishi 2006 observed that uh, in Japanese, there is a type of uh, one plus fire minimizer that doesn't utilize the scalar particle more. So for example, in three, uh, Aran wa koen de inuitu minakata. Okay. So if it is a classifier, one plus classifier, and this sentence means that uh, Aran didn't see any dogs at the park. And Nakanishi assumes that in this kind of example, there is a focus on inuitu one plus dog, dog one classifier. And which can trigger a set of alternatives consisting of animals such as cat and rabbit, whose numbers are greater than uh, greater than or equal to one. So, for example, in Ipiki, we get a set of alternatives like one dog, two dogs, one cat, two cats. And Nakanishi then posits uh, a hidden sentential operator like even, it's an in, uh, invisible even, which takes scope of our entire proportion. Um, and uh, yeah, there's also a syntactic analysis. Uh, some, some people analyze this sentence uh, from the syntactic perspective. So for example, uh, Onchi uh, assumes that uh, the post-nominal classifier, post-nominal means uh, it, 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 it uh, um, contains a narrow focus head. And Ogawa also provides a syntactic account, um, but he doesn't assume that uh, he assumes that the post-nominal classifier phrase is grammaticalized to the head of focus P. Um, from a 
functional perspective, uh, I myself once discussed the difference between the crossfire-based minimizer, uh, like five, and the scalar by postcodes, like six. So um, as we have already observed, there's a difference between crossfire type and scalar particle type. So five means and there is not even seen cloud in, in the sky. And this here so is clearly a crossfire, which counts the number of clouds. But in the case of six, um Okay, uh, doesn't even sub T to his guests. And here um, I assumed that uh, in six has been grammaticized from Hito plus two into a single scalar particle. Um, and also I observed at uh, 2006 that um, in the uh, so-called uh, scale uh, crossfire based minimizer a sentence sometimes can be ambiguous between a quantity reading and the event scale reading. So for example in seven uh taro wa biri binomial can have the two readings, one reading is a quantity reading, which says that uh, Taro cannot drink even one glass of beer. And also there's also an event scale reading, which says Taro cannot even drink beer. And the second reading, event scale reading, is very similar to the scalar particle Hitotsu, like eight. And so Taro will be by number nine. Uh, and uh, event scale reading was seven, uh, very similar. Okay. So, but uh, also this this uh, automation seems to be intuitively correct, uh, at least for my intuition. Uh, but um, the previous literature haven't formalized that meaning of um, uh, the the meaning of um, uh, scalar particle hitotsu. And I myself also didn't discuss the difference between the scalar particle hitotsu and ordinary scalar particle. So in this talk, I, I'd like to uh, think about the meaning of scalar particle uh, hitotsu in more detail and try to provide a semantic analysis. And also, I, I'd like to examine the relationship between the scalar particle hitotsu and uh, that crossfire based minimizer, which behaves like scalar particle. Okay. So um, First of all, let's look, consider the difference between scalar particle hitotsu and uh, Fourier scalar particle. So first of all, uh, syntactically, um, clearly the scalar particle hitotsu and is a particle just like other audience particle. Uh, this is supported by the fact that the accusative marker can't attach to the scalar particle hitotsu. So I such hitotsu or Blah, 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 it sounds odd. And I said, Sai O is also bad. Okay. And please note that the audience are classified like Hitotsu. That does allow, the, allow to combine with uh, accusative markers. So, pen Hitotsu O, or something. Please lend me a pen, one pen, something. That's okay. And then, the, what's the difference between scalar particle Hitotsu and audience scalar particle? Um, I think there are several differences. First uh, difference is that uh, unlike the regular scalar particle, um, the scalar particle hitotsu cannot combine with a specific noun, like proper name, nor can it combine with a demonstrative phrase. So Taro said, as you can even Taro didn't pass the exam, that's perfectly natural, but Taro hitotsu, that's terrible. Uh, it's odd. And, um, also, as you can see in 10, Hanako Okyaku-san ni sono ucha sae dasanakata is okay, but sono ucha hitotsu dasanakata sounds strange. Okay, it's, it's, uh, so the, it's, it's not good to have demonstrative here. And structurally, the scalar particle hitotsu uh, cannot appear in an adjunct position, so uh, although it's okay to say, kono ishi wa kuren de sae mochi agerare nai. This kuren cannot even be drifted by a kuren, this is okay, but it's, it's up to use hitotsu. Okay, so kono ishi wa kuren de hitotsu mochi agerare nai. That's terrible. So that I think that the key point of the scalar particle hitotsu is that it, it seems to be contrasting two events. 
So although the scalar particle starts to sin, uh, morphologically attached to a specific non-specific now phase, it makes a contrast with a with a bar phase DP. So for example, in the case of 12, uh, okay. Taro cannot even, uh, Taro no, no. Uh, Hanako cannot even sing a song despite being an actress. So here, uh, Hitoku is contrasting to sing a song with other activities such as to perform a play. And uh, similarly, in the case of certain, certain is more, more clear. Um, so Taro wa okakusan ni ocha o dasu dokoro ka aisatsu hitotsu shinaka. Taro didn't even greet. This guest uh, and our own sub T to them. So here there is a contrast between Ocha Odasu to sub T and to read. <laughs> so um, how can we analyze this? So it seems that like, uh, <laughs> seems correct to say that the scalar particle of Hitotsu is sensitive to event, event kind, and it makes a contrast among events denoted by a TP, so it's known as sentential operator. And based on that, you know, the, 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 the semantics, I, I'd like to propose a demonstration like 14. So here, um, hitotsu, a scalar particle hitotsu takes a um, kind, K, it's kind denoting noun, and the predicate P and two individuals. So here I'm assuming two transitive sentence and uh, event. And presuppose that that uh, for all R that are uh, in the contextual determining set C, if R is distinct from PK, then PK XYE is more likely than R XYE. So here, I uh, the set of alternative will be like um like a property. It's a, it's not a sentence. It's not a proposed position. Rather, it's a, like um. Um, bar plus noun phrase. And um, here I also posited the additional restriction that uh, K is a kind of kind noun and it is a scene of the event, like P. Okay. Um, of course, there are cases where Hitotsu is, seems to be contrasting to the individual levels. So, for example, for 14, Taro of Okakusani. Uh, didn't even serve tea, let alone food. Yes. So here it seems like, like you know, the um, there is a contrast between tea and food, but uh, still, I, I like to consider that in this case, even in this case, there is a contrast between two events, like to serve tea and to serve food, contrasting event kinds. And uh, this is a very small, uh, uh, it's very hard to uh, see the uh, logical structure, but um, it's the uh, entire deviation for the sentence like Taro wa okakusan ni ocha hitotsu dasanai would be like this. And uh, so how, what, what does this mean? So it seems that um, the phenomenon of this scalar particle hitotsu can be considered as a kind of um, pseudo incorporation in the sense of Carlson. So Carlson says that uh, some indefinite internal objects undergo verb incorporation in order to form a single event kind. And um, he provided example like from uh, West Bengali. Uh, I don't know at all about this language, but uh, um, it's, it, this sentence is interesting in that um, the direct object and uh, here A, A salmon. So here A salmon, um, lacks a case marking and it is a semantically neutral with respect to number. So it's like a, some is a kind, kind of kind nominal and it must appear adjacent to verb. So there is a more, um, salmon and it uh, form a single constituent. Um, in the literature, it's observed, often observed that the uh, incorporated nominal lacks the time and uh, our discourse of faith. So, and Carlson argues that 3P is a domain of context free uh, interpretive mechanism uh, specifying an event type and now phrases that depend on time, words, tools, and context to get evaluated and not able to 
combined with well, at the VP level, they are combined at the IP level, I guess they, they Carlson is, is thinking like that. And um, <clears throat> although the, there's no movement in the Hitotsu uh, sentence, but uh, it, it seems to be natural to consider that the scalar particle Hitotsu is semantically connecting the noun it attaches to NP, Hitotsu, NP and the bar predicate uh, and form a single event kind. And I, I gave a pseudo incorporation naturally capture the scalar particles as uh, is constraint that, that now that combines with must be a kinomial or must be non specific. So, as we observed earlier, um, Taro Hitotsu, Shiken, Ukarana, Ukarana sounds uh, bad, and also uh, 18 with um, the demonstrative now, uh, some of the Hitotsu Dasanai is also bad. And also the pseudo incorporation approach also provides a natural explanation why the NP uh, uh, scalar particle Hitotsu has a constraint that the first argument K must be a thing. So like uh, in the as uh, I said, uh, the incorporation in the incorporation approach, the direct object analogs move into the verb. And uh, generally the internal argument is um Thing. So it's, it seems to be <coughs> natural to think that um, the K uh, corresponds to the theme of an event. So ambiguity. So as I observed earlier, uh, the sentence like um, hello, well, B read pi nominized. So in this case, pi is clearly a classifier, but um, and it's not only have a positive reading, like Taro didn't, I cannot drink even one glass of beer, but also it has an uh, event scaling, a uh, tunnel cannot even drink beer. Uh, beer if I know that. Okay, so uh, in that case, I would like to consider that uh, this big pie is a classifier, but uh, it's just like behaves not just like scalar particle hitotsu, it's same, except that it additionally has a restriction that the first argument K is a repeat, that can be counted by pi. So already, even though 20, in 20 pi has a status of classifier, but it already has a, like an even like flavor in the case of event scale reading. So uh, I propose the uh, similar denotation like 21, <laughs> and the only difference is like here, k equals to the thing, and no, k equals to liquid. Um, but in the case of quantity reading, I guess e pi is is a pure and uh, pure classifier phrase, and um, in that case, in this in the quantity reading uh, the part uh, there is a even e uh, meaning from the you now scalar particle. Uh, this is just one possibility. So, for example, in the quantity reading, um, the that this reading can be paraphrased by one plus classifier plus more. So it seems to make sense that um, in the quantity reading, there's a hidden um, um, particle like more in, in the local structure. So, implication. So, um, in the literature, there are many uh, series for even, and in, in, in this room, um, there are some, some people have. Um, um, their, their ideas on even, so the semantics of even, but at, uh, it seems that uh, they all tend to posit that even are sentential operators. So, for example, in the scope theory, even has a wide scope with, with restricted negation, and uh, it is, uh, it sits at the top level. And in the lexical ambiguity theory, uh, it's it it is under the negation, but still it's uh, it's above the proposition on that. But um, I feel like the scalar particle <laughs> which I uh, I have uh, discussed in this uh, talk, it should not be considered as a sentential operator, pure sentential operator. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, I can shed a new light on the variation of even items in natural language. 
Okay, thank you very much. very much. We have 10 minutes for questions and suggestions and comments. And I have a pretty general question. I was wondering like the difference between books and books and why by eat by more. Mm -hmm. So would you say that when you can put them more it's still kind of a uh passive power when you can't put it it becomes something else. Um, did you say like uh, so like uh, if by mono and I if by mono and I, there were those two things, right? Yeah, but and then yeah. some thoughts so you can put them all, other thoughts you can't put them all, yeah, correct. Yeah, so I is that the, is that the line? Is that really the line where you say, like, okay, this has fully become something else when you can't put them all? Would that be like the diagnostic, right? So, so. Another diagnostic is that there is an accusative marker O here, right? Uh, ah. In 23. <laughs> but uh, the scalar particle it should not be uh, an accusative marker here. Okay. Here is Hitotsu no menai. So, like a ne the noun phrase has to directly, I mean, be uh, Hitotsu no menai. Yeah, so that's different. Syntax will be different, right? Do we both need to uh, like die together? The one them all? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, <laughs> what? What? Is like, uh, so, so we need to get 22 and 23, right? Yeah. So you have the O and them all, and then you don't have the O and them all. Is that always the case? Um, or do you have cases where you have the O and not the more, and cases where you have the more and not the O? I would find this really interesting with both, so actually, especially. Um, I'm not so sure about uh, what uh, your. Uh, so, B will eat by one eye, B will eat by one eye. Oh, B will eat by one eye. Okay. So yeah. That's just dropping the O, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, then there's B will eat by one eye. B will eat by one eye. B will eat by one eye. So, it's, the, it's, it's all the same. B will eat by one eye. B will eat by. Yeah, at least in the quantity reading, it's the same. Yeah, but in the but in the reading that you're going for, right? Minimize the reading. Right. It's not the same. So in the minimum reading, you have to have no accusative marker and no even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It has to look just like he told you, but have the right crossing, right? Yeah. Right, right. Basically. Basically. And with the hitotsu, so you can also check if the hitotsu is a classifier as soon as you can put mo or o. The hitotsu is no longer a minimizer, right? Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So I, think, I think you predicted biru hitotsu mo no menai should be bad. Yeah, I think because so. Because it's the wrong classifier and mo makes it the wrong construction. Biru hitotsu no menai. Yeah, I think so. Um, so biru hitotsu no menai will also be out, and biru hitotsu mo no menai will also be out. Yes, I, I need to check the speed net sugar but the view is not So it was on a Oh, we have three. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. very happy to <laughs> yeah, just back up with the white box. Yes. Uh, thank you for your talk. So, um, your observation is that. Um, <laughs> As an upgrade attached by Hitotsu Mo, yeah. it cannot be a T of an event. And I'm just wondering what, what is the evidence for that? Um, so I'm assuming that the Biru Hitotsu no Menai, which Biru has to be a. Yeah, in that case, this is so bad. Why can't it be like, like an agent? Uh, yeah, so, uh, so 17 is a case where Hitotsu attaches to the subject. Yeah, but uh, the uh, chemistry is due to the yeah. specificity of the okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the uh, okay. So the, um, so agent plus kind kind of not nouns like uh, what what would be um, the... but, um this is uh this is what I have have come up with <laughs> now but uh <laughs> not even a single student can 
In that case, the say student is the agent of the of the benchmark. Yeah, but I'm assuming that one, like you are using one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's not pure two. It's complicated, but two plus two is a. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, this is super interesting. And I want to focus on the idea that basically the the he talks of the construction is talks of construction here. Is really wanting to take the VP right. as a whole. So you incorporate the object into the verb, and that whole thing is taken as some kind of semantic argument. Right, right. And what it reminds me of mm. is so two things. So one is in Japanese, you have this things like this. Um, mm. uh, mm. So you have so Hanako or Kanako, whoever I said, yeah. sang a song yeah. and also played the piano. And yeah. you put the also words on the direct object. Oh. But the semantic scope of that is the whole VP. Right. And this is so it's what you should say is something like piano or something like that. Right. Something like right. that. Right. But what you do is you kind of move it over to the right. thing. That's and, right. it, and then this is this relation right. like Kuroda talking about. Mm -hmm. Where you use contrastive wa, and the thing you're contrasting is not the noun, no, no, no. but it's something bigger, either yeah. the whole That's event, right. yeah. in fact, events. Yeah. So it, it ties into this idea that the event is what you're doing. Yeah. And so I want to push the idea that maybe this is the, an, a connection you could make to this mm -hmm. phenomenon where you're, right. where the particle of appearing is sort of on a nominal to the left side right. of a larger scope. Mm -hmm. of a larger object, which connects to this recent work by Micho, Michael Michel, oh, yeah, and, 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 and um, oh. uh, Kenyon Brannan, where they call this anti-pipe making. So like the scope of what mm -hmm. we should be looking at semantically and the particle that does the thing is sort of inside of it. Um, that seems so weird. that's, an, I think, an interesting direction. Mm -hmm. And the final thing I'll say is when you take that idea of like, if fundamentally this construction is not going to care about the object, mm -hmm. it cares about the verb phrase. Right. That will explain why the classifier is no longer mm -hmm. seeing See. the object anymore. Because it's not yeah. the, the noun, I mean. It, mm -hmm. It's no longer really about the noun, yeah. it's yeah. about the event. Yeah. And therefore, you bleach the yeah, bleach classifier. That, so counting I, yeah. yeah. So, so it's not really a question, but I think that might be a nice direction to take it. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah. Seems to me like a kind of natural. Step of grammaticalization like that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's super cool. Like yeah. you can see you even have the in-between yeah. construction yeah. still. Yeah. 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 Thanks, thanks. Miss Sunshine have also had a okay. question. No? You can go ask the question we have to me. Uh, thank you, Pedro. Uh, can you show, please, the uh, example about the crane, where some object can be lifted by a crane or something like that? Uh, crane example? Um, Ajang, with Ajang? Uh, uh -huh. Where was there? I forgot the way. Okay. Then again. Uh, what if we say like this stone can be lifted uh, even by a finger? The stone can cannot be can can, can be. We remove negation mm. and change crane to a finger. Can we then use this uh, also? Can can even be lifted by a finger? Uh -huh. Okay. Um. Wait. <laughs> you be you be the. It's a short comment. Uh, okay. what, uh, what do you think about the case like uh, Amistotsu? Uh, Amistotsu for now. Subject, yes. 
nicht mehr kann. Seems to be better than uh, these cases, maybe because Ame is like a general. It's 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 not a concrete. Yeah, yeah. I don't know well, why it's better. But, but it's a, that's a kind of unaccusative rhetoric too. So maybe yeah. it's not about objects or things, ah, but it's yeah. more about things that are easily associated mm. right. thematically yeah. with the verb. Can you say Koki would be shinobu? I'm trying to say, try to pick it up. Uh, oh, I'm okay. sorry, but uh, I, I was like oh, dying, I mean, dying to ask them. Oh, I have a question. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, so you, you, you said it's happened that all is incompatible with this person. Um, and, and, and it means this object status. What about me? Is oh, it okay. settled too bad? Is it actually me? Yeah. Object status. So, me so, so, can also be marked with an object. So, me can act the indirect object, me. Uh, so what's an example? Oh, yeah, so like that. But that's that's that sounds very bad. Too. Uh, so, so it really wants to be this O, not L. Right, the case marker can be used for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, not only just, it's not just about the case marker, it's about having this very specific argument role within the uh, predicate structure. Which would support your analysis? I think so, yeah. Um, let me uh, ask you after the discussion. Yeah, uh, yeah, seems to be right. Yeah. Okay, so time is up. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you very much. Okay.